All right. So this Javante Turner, Woody homeboy, that just got, yeah. And he just had a funeral. So at the funeral, this dude got caught with all of this. So listen to this. All right, let me read it again. A documented gang member was arrested after Atlanta police said they found drugs and stolen guns in his vehicle earlier this month. APD officers were at the intersection of Hollywood Road and Donald Lee Hollowell. When they saw the driver of a 2016 Nissan Maxima make an illegal U-turn, when officers stopped the vehicle, they identified the driver as King Travis, a member of YFN, a criminal street gang that's a subset of the Inglewood family gangster bloods. Investigators confirmed Travis, who has an extensive criminal record that started in 2011, is currently being held without bond in the Fulton County Jail on gang charges. When officers searched his vehicle, they seized seven guns. Prescription, yeah, and yeah, according to an arrest affidavit. Police also arrested and charged King's passengers, Demetrius Travis, Cortez Curry, and Quindarius Holland. Court records confirmed he was leaving a funeral related to the Hami. Yes. Now they're talking about Travante Turner. That's weird. All right. Jones told Channel 2's Michael, <laughs> exclusive, that Travis had just attended the funeral of another high-ranking, pay attention, high-ranking gang member, Travante Turner, 31, who was emmed in a drive-by shooting. Was he? That was a drive-by? I thought they was arguing out front before something happened to him. Somebody drove past and banged him in his house. That's fishy. Let's keep it moving, though. Investigators believe Travis brought the guns to his friend's funeral. His friends. So he a high-ranking blood member. And his friends is YFN. And Woody's still cool with him. And he got his face tattooed. I mean, his name tattooed on his face. As his sideburn. And he told on that boy before as well. Yep, he did. I got the paperwork. Investigators believe Travis brought the guns to his friend's funeral because he and others feared they may be targeted by a rival gang. Who the rival gang? Yo, was Lucci and them beefing with Baby and them? <laughs> no, I, I heard that in Do the Grapevine. If you're a criminal street gang and you're out here committing crimes, we're coming after you every day, all day, Jones added. When it comes to cracking down on gangs, guns, and drugs, APD credits crime-fighting initiatives like Operation Heat Wave and the hard work of the department's specialized units. Since January, APD's violent crime unit has arrested 100 gang members, recovered 21, 221 stolen guns, and filed 388 gang charges, according to data provided by APD. APD says it has led to a 13% decrease. You know that's cap. All right. So the question is, how is Chavante Turner... Still cool with YFN and Woody. So Woody is why like cool with them more than YSL now. Like how that work, y'all? Salute to Nikki for sending this to me. Straight up. Straight up. Tap the like button. Salute to everybody in here. Tap the like button. Yo, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We rocking. This more important. Yeah, we rocking. This more you see what I got? This interesting. This gossip, this tea. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Would he plan both sides? How was it a drive-by if home was in the house? And what about the argument that ensued before he went in the house? Or did he go in the house? He was found in the house. Why is nobody looking into this situation? It's fishy. One news article, one news report saying Holmes was out front arguing and then he wound up smoked. Huh? Outside arguing with who? But why would he tell on him and then tatter his name on his face? And how would he cool with him if they was beefing with the other side? And he cool with the other side still to as though they showing up at his funeral, strapped up like, yeah. Like this, how this work, y'all? How this work? So this proved that he originally know them boys more than he know YSL. And all this is them beefing internally and this ain't got nothing to do with YSL. Him and Shell Kells really had a falling out because they both from over on the same side, technically. Some of these people run with each other. Is that true? 
And is this evidence of it? I mean, surely nobody don't get nobody tatted on their face unless they really rock with him. But he told. So that could show that he two-faced it right there. You got the tat, but you told on him. That's two faces right there. The internet is a real, a real wild character with their choice of, uh, you know, who they choose. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's a crazy situation right here. And who is Holmes? And hold on, Javante Turner was high ranking. He a bum. They, how he high ranking? So what? He high, he more high ranking than Lucci? He more high ranking than who? High ranking comparison to what? I think he was, Keyshawn. I think he was. The way, when you listen to the story, it does appear that Tay is the one that was that was out there. with um, And this makes it seem like that too. Pay attention. If you look at this right here, this makes you feel like, yeah, that was the case. That was the case. That was why. I mean, he was on the other side. I came to that conclusion before. Like, hold on. Yo was rocking with the other side, but how he get slimed out later on? How he get backdoored by them? And I think that's how Woody, find, you know, winds up them two linking. They was cool before. Then they, they somehow, something transpired. He might have been with them and thought they lied. And then Woody told the truth. Well, you know, went and hollered at him like, yo, that ain't how it went down. And then he stopped, you know, beefing with them. But now he cool with him again. So it seemed like it was some internal beef on their side, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. All this looked like it was internal with some dudes that was cool with each other. And they had little falling outs about some probably some dumb stuff. They picking sides internally, though. Now, if you listen to Woody, he talks about this in one of his videos. He talks about him getting mad with D.B., and him picking the side with one of his homeboys. No, his DB picked the side of the homeboy. And he was mad that he picked the side. And he was sad about it because that's when Holmes got smoked. Now, if y'all know about the streets, this go down all the time. This 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 internal side picking slash falling out slash I ain't, I ain't bending type shit. Yeah, it happened all the time. But I ain't trying to explain what happened with all these dudes. What I'm saying is some things happen we ain't going to probably never know about. Yeah, no honor amongst thieves type of stuff. Like, yeah, we back doing and doing so much slime out here. Once we do something that, you know, somebody around us don't like, it's going to heat up because ain't nobody going to back down. Yeah, once you get it like a search, something get done and it's a, a disagreement between two dudes who, who you know, who ain't going to take the short. Yeah, it's up. It's up. Now, what looks like happens is Threat and Woody is both like on some old vigilante type move. But that makes it weird that these boys is at the funeral like this. Because I was thinking they was more rogue. They both was, you know, kind of exonated from, you know, their communities. And they kind of found resonation with each other type, you know. Nah, that ain't what we saying right here. <laughs> They had to rock with y'all or else they couldn't expect to be at the funeral like this and not get hemmed up. You can't come oppy to a funeral and linger around like this, y'all. So they had to been cool with Holmes. I don't know, y'all. This fishy right here is straight up. This is fish sticks. This fish sticks on Woody Pot, bro. Now, if you know in the comments, y'all, let me know Woody's connection to these dudes. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. All right, salute. Let me know in the comments what y'all think.